47 forest reserves. Have you, have you thought about it? And when you think of the sum of all these things, and then you also consider the fact that our president says, Oh, give me some more time to consider one or two. What, what does it really tell you? Has your member of parliament spoken up in the Kalamse in your area? A member of parliament, has he said anything useful? Add to the conversation. Now I'm asking you because you are in support. You want to go and re-elect him. Has he said anything that is of importance? Have you seen your DC or MC these days? Have they said anything that gives you hope that we are in a fight together or it's a we and them situation? Were you part of the three-day protests and the one before that? Are you going to join the Catholic Church? To demonstrate and pray. Or are you going to continue? I bought you a bank that cares for you. Hand in hand, we stand with you. So lift your head up, big dreams away. the friends who dialed star 712 hash and found no regrets to the investors who struck gold to the health workers who diagnosed luck with precision to the tough guy who couldn't hold back his tears to the passionate fan who couldn't contain his joy to the seamstress who turned her hard-earned stitches into a bundle of happiness and now here's to you your next big win is right here Dial a star 712 hash. Now join in the luckiest winning celebration. Every 1st July 2024. Over dial a star 712 hash. Now I can swear to take it through as a group, individual, and now as a, even as a community. Now we need to get cashier. Prices are cashier in the community draw. Or go for the grand draw on the 30th of November 2024. Unlock your luck with star 712 hash. Now join in the winning streak now. The luckiest star 712 us. Luck is everywhere for everyone. Yeah, the luckiest. Imagine a place where voices matter, where every corner, every street, every community is a platform. A big bus moving through Accra, carrying conversations, questions, and the pulse of the nation. This is not just another show, it's your voice on the move. Join us as 3FM Sunrise hits the road, turning ordinary streets into platforms for extraordinary dialogue. Speak freely, listen deeply, and help shape the conversation that drives Ghana forward. Look out for the bus and tune in exclusively on 3FM 92.7, your urban lifestyle radio. The best in the morning is on 92.7. Media General is obviously against uh, Galamse. Won't it stopped now? It's 20 minutes after 8 here on Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. Welcome back. Aulasewa is joining me in studio now. She is the coordinator for Eco 
conscious citizens. Ola, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Good morning. Thank uh, you for having me. And grateful for all the work that you do for Mother Nature. Well, we are grateful for the press for raising this very important uh, matter. You are doing an excellent job. We're grateful. Galamse, how did we get here? Well, you know, I always say that Galamse, if you look at the genesis of it, it was using hand tools, like you rightly said earlier on. So the um, likelihood of causing the kind of devastation that is taking place wasn't really there. Mm. Over the years, things changed, allow small-scale mining, do this, do that. And people said at the beginning that it's not going to work because your monitoring culture is either weak or non-existent. Mm. We didn't listen and we are where we are. So I wouldn't even like to call it galamse because mm. I think we're using the wrong word. Mm. We should just call it what it is, illegal mining, mining. clear mm. criminality. Mm. I hear people say ban galamse. You can't ban something that's already criminal. Stealing is a criminal offense. You don't mm. ban it. What you do is enforce. Mm. So let's use the right word. What we are dealing with is illegal mining on on an unprecedented scale. The posture of the state institutions and the enforcers, have you been satisfied? Has, has, it, has it lived up to expectation in terms of this quest by the people to see an end to what we see now? Of course not. I mean, our culture of enforcement is either non-existent mm. or very weak. Mm-hmm not just when it comes to illegal mining, whatever, whether it's noise pollution. We seem sometimes to be allergic Mm -hmm. to monitoring. Mm -hmm. And when we have that kind of situation, you don't start something like small-scale mining Mm -hmm. where there are thousands of operatives, even the big-scale mining companies. How well are we monitoring? Mm -hmm. How much more when you have thousands of um, small-scale mining operatives? Your monitoring regime is weak. Mm -hmm. Look at building. People build on waterways. They build anywhere. They build um, on pavements Mm -hmm. and the um, relevant institutions just stand idly by. So it's not just when it comes to mining. In almost every area, Mm -hmm. our monitoring regime is weak. You're advanced in age. Somebody will say, why doesn't our Lasewa sit at home, enjoy with their grandchildren, enjoy, you know, what life has to offer and, and leave all these things to the government and other people to do? Why are you so interested in all of this? Well, I've always been interested in the environment. I mean, from an early age, um, I've been interested in the environment. And we all have what we need to do. I remember Wangari Mathai, the Mm -hmm. first um, African to win a Nobel Prize, African woman to And she said, we all have something to do. Her little thing is planting trees. Mm -hmm. And we know that she got the Nobel Prize for what she did in Kenya, Mm -hmm. completely transformed thing. Mm -hmm. My little thing is the environment. I've always cared about the environment. Mm -hmm and will continue to do so. And I think anybody who doesn't realize that, I mean, we talk, we are talking about mm-hmm. building a cathedral, right. but we don't realize that God placed us in the Garden of Eden, if mm-hmm. we pre- believe the good book. Mm-hmm. And we look at the description of the Garden of Eden. So we realize that for our own well-being, we need to have a clean and green and beautiful environment. That's where we thrive, mm-hmm. where we commune with nature. So when we sit idly by whilst our parks and gardens are being built on. In Wa, for instance, uh, yeah. petrol station yeah. was being built yeah. on parks and gardens. Right. If we look at our parks and gardens across Ghana, mm-hmm. they have been um, <laughs> encroached upon mm-hmm. whilst the authorities were just watching on. So for me, the environment is important. And if you care about your children and grandchildren, what are you going to leave them? Mm-hmm. A devastated environment and i keep on saying that if our ancestors our forefathers mm. had been as wicked and irresponsible as we are right. what would we have come to meet there are those who say this whole fight and you know call for an end to this menace and mm-hmm. this sin against nature should be halted until after the elections what do you think well i mean anybody who says that i'll say it's a complete disgrace mm. When people are being poisoned, what you're saying is that continue being poisoned until we have the elections. It's a complete disgrace. We are where we are because we have people who are in political office, some people who are standing, who have no regard whatsoever for the people they want to rule. They don't care if they rule over people dying of kidney disease, dying of cancer. It really doesn't matter to them. All that matters is for them to be elected. And I think shame on them and shame on of anybody who votes for such a person. Mm-hmm. Would recall that seven years ago, the president put his presidency on the line. Mm-hmm. My understanding of putting your presidency on the line is that mm-hmm. you've seen the the catastrophe we are facing, you are saying that come what me, even if I lose my 
uh, I lose the elections, we're going to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And history, history will bear us out. Mm -hmm. But rather, he put his presidency, quote unquote, online. And when, in my opinion, the Mm -hmm. NDC also exploited it Mm -hmm. by former President Bahama going around saying that he wasn't going to... Uh, he was going to free Galamseas, right, and as we right. can see, they, the NPP lost in the, the, in fact, the legal mining areas. Right. Mm. Then he changed his tune, and I think mm. that's a disgrace because there's a reason why you put your presidency on the mm. line, and you should just be resolute and follow through. Mm. We need people who are resolute, who care enough about Ghana. Did you think Ghana. the president was going to do that? I'm when sorry? He, when he made that comment, did you think he was going to Well, some people didn't it? think so, but I thought he, he meant it. Mm. I had the at the time honestly thought he meant it mm. but only he knows whether he meant it or not but whether he meant it or not if he meant it then it's not a question whether you lose votes or not right. because before god you need to do the right thing let me say it very clearly now mm. god is not mocked mm. we reap what we sow and anybody who thinks that god is mocked had better think again mm. the the different if you read for example the professor kwabna from pom report on the interministerial committee on illegal mining he says at some point the team that were assembled for him including nine other ministers like himself some cabinet ministers as well they abandoned him only two were left to work with him so seven of those ministers abandoned him some of those ministers have found themselves into a reconstituted team to want to fight this canker that we have again i ask you what 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 signals does it send to those of you who have been doing this for many decades? What does it tell you? Well, I mean, we wonder whether there's any fight against illegal mining. The perception is that the firefighters are the arsonists. So that is why Professor Frimpon Boating found it very difficult. And in fact, his report sat on somebody's Three desk for how many? For about a couple of years, years until right. the media... Um, you know, mm. raise awareness about it. Those he mentioned, have they been properly investigated? It's a travesty that they are walking free whilst the protesters who are trying like to... Some of them are, have uh, crossed the, the primaries. They are, if they are elected by their people, they will be in parliament. Well, then it just shows some the of kind of names. electorates we have. I mean, I'm sorry to say that. People say that you deserve the kind of government you have. Right. So if you see people who are supervising, you're being poisoned. Mm-hmm. You know, we are taking the whole thing as a joke. You know, when you have the water running through the taps and it's clear right does not mean it doesn't have mercury mm. water company has confirmed that they don't remove heavy metals from That's the water right. That's right. so we can be drinking uh <laughs> mercury mm. laced water mm. when you're buying your pure water or you're buying your bottled water right. do you know the source of the water so we're all literally being poisoned mm. and if we don't take it seriously enough and we're going to elect the arsonist then you know, um, I don't know if there's anything else I, I can I, add. I, I like the fact that you brought in the Ghana Water Company. Recently, not so long ago, two, three t- days ago, they brought out a statement suggesting that the turbidity of the water, as they reported earlier, some 14,000 uh, NTU has now come down to 9,000 or so in the central region. People had cause to doubt it because they say, look, you are saying one thing on paper, but what we fetch through our standpipes and our taps are totally different. Uh, do you get a sense that the Ghana Water Company perhaps is being pressed down by somebody to say, come and say something to the people? You see, one doesn't know what to believe these days. One doesn't know what to believe. But one can only go by what we can see. All we can see is our waters are very brown. Right. Although that doesn't mean, uh, you know, mercury is, is colorless. Right. But we can see what is going on. Mm. And uh, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Mm. But then, of course, I um, would expect people in the right positions who say things not to be swayed by political consideration, but to do what is right. Having said that, what is so disappointing in this country is the way the fight against illegal mining has become so partisan. People don't seem to realize that when the water is poisoned, it doesn't say, oh, you're in this political party, oh, yeah. so it miraculously turns uh, pure for you. Mm-hmm. We are all being poisoned. So the time has come for us to have one party, Ghana, mm-hmm. and to do what is right for Ghana. We cannot be complicit in mm-hmm. what is going on. We cannot um, vote for persons who are, in fact, murderers, because mm-hmm. if you are supervising our waters being poisoned. Mm-hmm. You know, in wartime, when you poison the water body, right. it's a war crime. Right. It's a war crime. That's Potentially, correct. you're murdering people. Yeah. We know that there's an increase in um, maternal deaths, mm. in stillborn babies, right. and uh, defects, def- defects mm-hmm. you know. And all that doesn't phase you. All you want to do is to be elected. I mean, this is just disgraceful. Well, what about those who 
I mean, the young people of this country have been demonstrating. The last time some people tried, 53 of them were picked up. Um, they are on remand as we speak. But over the last um, three days, there was another demonstration. Um, four halls, uh, Legon, uh, Commonwealth Hall and Legon, uh, Sabah Hall, UCC and K and USD, they came together and, and had that demonstration. Others joined in. But there are some political actors who have said, that, look, go to the dem- Galamse site. Stop demonstrating in Accra because that's not where Galamse is. What's your view on that? Well, my view is that those who are going to take their decisions there in Accra. So let's be very clear about that. And that is why, uh, as we all know, organized labor has given uh, the government... Well, the, we're supposed to have a strike, a general strike from right. Thursday. Right. And I was... We're, at, we're not too sure because organized labor... That's why I use the word supposed. Mm. On the 11th of September, right. there was a press conference um, mm-hmm. at the press center. I was there. You had the CSOs. You mm. had the Catholic Bishops Conference. You had the Christian Council. You know, so many different people were represented. Right. And it's clear to every single person. Mm-hmm. It's clear... To it's clear to thank you. Right. It's clear to every single person who cares um, to know mm-hmm. that um, we're united. Mm-hmm. That uh, something needs to happen now, right. not later, before we reach the point of uh, of uh, no return. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm saying that um, organized labor also had a press conference. And I know that people are saying that they've been infiltrated. But we shall see. Mm. We shall see. Because the government has not responded positively Mm -hmm. to the demands. Mm. And that that takes me to the president. The president has been speaking to foreign media. He has not spoken to the local media on the happening events. A spokesperson on governance and security, Dr. Paul Grip Bachi Dankwa, says the president is observing everything that is happening. Um, your president is observing. Now, now will I say what? Um, okay, so let's listen to the president just to contextualize the conversation first. This is what the president said, an excerpt of the conversation. Well, we'll try and fix that uh, quickly. 3FM, 92.7. Okay, okay. arrested, put in jail, the opposite. Are you concerned about protest movements? We've seen a lot of protests. Uh, Some activists were uh, arrested, put in jail. The opposition is saying you're trying uh, to stifle dissent. I'm not responsible for jailing people in Ghana. Mm. The courts in Ghana are independent institutions, and they have been all through this period of the Fourth Republic. Um, People misconduct themselves and they're brought before court. It's for the court to deal with them. That's not a matter... It has nothing to do about politics. It has nothing to do with the executive. And their behavior is what lands them in in problem with the police and with the courts. It's not the the, the protests. How can the president, who himself, his political career was aided by leading protests, have problems with protests? I don't have problems with protests. And nothing is done in Ghana to prevent people from airing their views on anything. Right. Are you concerned about protest movements? We have, we've seen a lot of protests. Uh, some activists were uh, arrested, put in jail. The opposition is saying you're trying uh, to stifle dissent. I'm not responsible for jailing people in Ghana. Yeah. The courts in Ghana are independent institutions. And they have been all through this period of the Fourth Republic. Um, People misconduct themselves and they're brought before court. It's for the court to deal with them. That's not a matter. It has nothing to do about politics. It has nothing to do with the executive. And their behavior is what lands them in in problem with the police and with the courts. It's not the the, the, the protests. How can the president, who himself, his political career was aided by leading protests, have problems with protests? I don't have problems with protests. And nothing is done in Ghana to prevent people from airing their views. That's what the president says. What do you think? Technically, mm. technically what he's saying is true. We have the different arms of government. Mm. But you see, he seems to be making a judgment. He's saying it's their conduct that mm. led to them being arrested. Right. I know as a fact of bystanders who have been arrested. Mm. I know as a fact of persons who did not um, do Three anything M-M. who were Nine arrested. Two. And again, you know, the president knows as well as I do that... Um, what they're accused of doing. Mm-hmm. Is it something that merits a custodial sentence? Right. We have those who are poisoning us, walking free. Mm-hmm. I can give you the case in um, Atronsu, in the mm-hmm. Western North region, right. where there's illegal mining going on. They once had a pristine Atronsu stream. Right. And uh, when we found out the excavators were going on, we actually contacted the Western North Regional Minister mm-hmm. to, so that he could prevent right. it. He did nothing about it. Oh. And uh, um, 
eventually got the police commander mm. they were given police bail they were released those who are <laughs> engaged in legal right. mining and they went right back okay. as i speak they are well unless they've been arrested between sunday mm. night and this mm. morning they were still engaged in illegal mining so one wonders why in this case when you are dealing with illegal miners were not remanded in custody mm. and then taken to court for um the court to to, to decide mm. but in the case of the protesters mm -hmm. they were refuse refuse they refuse police bail right. and also refuse court bail so it doesn't look like we are treating um the two sets of people equally one is actually engaging in activity that could lead to people dying and they are being treated uh, you know with kid gloves and then when it comes to the protesters who are drawing attention to it they are the ones um, you know, being imprisoned, and I think that is a travesty the, 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 the of justice. The president is trying to take himself out of the equation, and rightly so. But the Attorney General, Minister of Justice, is an agent of the executive. Of course, he is. That the president leads. Of course, he is, and the, we know that he can withdraw the charges if he is right. so minded. But he argued that the people should not be granted jail. And of course, uh, granted bill. Sorry. So yes. what, what is the president running away from? If, if he had won a case, I'm sure the president would have owned it. Well, I mean, he's just been, I mean, he's a lawyer and lawyers know how, I'm a lawyer myself. Mm -hmm. He's a lawyer and lawyer, lawyers know how to present uh, F -F cases. But I think that perception is also important. Mm -hmm. And the perception is that uh, the attorney general is doing what he believes will please the government. Mm -hmm. And the perception, I'm not saying that's the right, case. Right. The perception is that the courts did what it did, mm -hmm. thinking it was pleasing the powers that be. That is right, the perception. Right. And it's not very good because justice should not just be done. It should be seen to be done. So if mm -hmm. the perception is that the judges are doing what the executive wants. That's not a good thing. Right. Mr. Joe Jackson is a senior citizen. He's the chief servant also at Daylex Finance. Joe, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Good, good. to see you. I haven't seen you in yes, some time. Yes, I haven't seen you in, in a while, and, and you're looking very, very well. Uh, oh, thank you. Why were you demonstrating at just your age when you're supposed to be relaxing on a Saturday afternoon, chilling with family and thinking about yourself? You're a big man. What were you I'm doing? not sure about the big... What were you doing I, I, in the I'm, sun? Okay, very simple. Mm. Polluted water does not know age. Polluted water does not know religion. Mm. It does not know gender. It does not know political party. Mm. It will hit all of us. If it doesn't hit me, it will hit my son. Mm. It will hit my daughter. Mm. It will hit my close friends and family. Right. And so, when each one of the people, the, 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 the young people there, mm. is a son of mine, is a daughter of mine, in a very broad sense. That's right. If my son was fighting for their life, why wouldn't I be there to support them? In fact, the question you should be asking mm. It's not why I was there, mm. but why were less of my age group there? What, why, what did I do that was so amazing? Mm. Nothing. All I did was to go out and, and support my sons, my daughters, my nephews, mm. and say, you're fighting for your health. You're fighting for your life, mm. and I support you. The, the Gen Zs will say, vibe. What kind of vibe did you pick while you were amongst the younger folks who were, you know, clearly holding their placards and telling the government enough is enough? You know, certain things came across, and I was right there out there. I mean, you, as you can tell from the pictures, I was mm. in there with them. Right. One thing was that it was a deadly serious thing for them. It was not, did we have some dancing and fun? Mm -hmm. Yes. But this was not the persons there mm -hmm. were truly worried about their future. Mm -hmm. They were truly worried about, you see, I, I must tell you, I'm amazed. When you see the pictures of of uh, the polluted water bodies. When you see the pictures of the polluted water works, 
when you hear the doctors speak about uh, 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 a birth a birth deformity cluster around Galamze areas, when you hear them speak about 24,000 cancer cases from Galamze areas in the last two years, what are we thinking of? It's, it's, I, I, I tell you, I'm amazed that a lot more people are not protesting. Well, and, and, and you see, all of a sudden, we are seeing a ground swell mm. of protests mm. from, I, I, I read that the, the, the Catholics want to yes. have, and I was on the 11th, on a prayer yes, march. Yes. Yes. a prayer match, and I was excited because one of the things I'm saying is that the church has a role to play. Of course. The mosque has a role to play. We all have a role to play. Everyone, you know, that's the point. Everyone has a role to play. So you are surprised that there are people who are holding back and not... Yes, and, and I tell you, in. for... Listen, uh, uh, um, the young people that... Listen, on, and I'm very active on Twitter. Right. I'm very, very active on that's Twitter. Right. You, had, so, you, are, you are a landlord there, Gen Z, great-grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. Who is Gen Z, the, no, swing, no, 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 you, you are great-grandpa. Gen Z, great-grandpa on Twitter. <laughs> Who's in there swinging with them. Mm. That's one thing. But I get phone calls. Yo, what are you doing? 3FM. Why are you out there? What do you want to prove? And then those that come under the guise of, of uh, 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 concern. Right. Mm. Oh, Joe, be careful. That's a hey, issue. Mm. Be careful, Joe. People are vindic vindictive. Joe, at your age, if somebody pushes you, you have a bad knee. You have I said, listen, all this pills into insignificance. Mm. When I just think that my sister-in-law brought me a ball of kinky from Yamrasa. Mm -hmm. And I love Fanti Kinky. Right. It's one of the things I really enjoy. And mm. I, we, I eat it in all forms. And, mm. and I eat it as soakings. And I eat it mm. with my... I'm a tutu man. <laughs> That's what we eat on a daily basis. And when I have to take the ball of kinky, and it just strikes me. Oof. This is from the Central Regional. Mm. How was it prepared? That is the problem. Mercury cyanide lead. Can I even add something here? A scientist was telling us that, you know, when they want to reclaim the land, mm -hmm. you can plant things. One of the things you can plant is corn because corn absorbs poison. Ooh. And there's corn coming from, well, I mean, I believe corn is coming from the illegal mining area. So what you're saying is absolutely, absolutely Which true. means that if you consume corn or corn-based meals, well, you could be taking was, in some more, yes, according to the scientists. Because he was telling us that the, what they do sometimes, they, they plant corn, corn, and of course, later on, destroy the corn right. and that, um, the rice. Supervise Yes, them. exactly. Wow. So if corn is coming from there, it's absorbing the poison, so apart from the water, there's also the corn itself, yes. which could be like And corn is a staple all over That's this right. country. I mean, Banku, take away Tuzafi, corn, Zafi, Kenke, K, uh, Koko. Uh, and other varieties, right. millet, right. etc. Right. So, you see, the, 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 the point I'm making is this. 3FM. You can't sit here and think, this is far away. Mm. This is removed from me. Um, and we act as if this thing is going to kill us. Do, do you? It's killing if, us. It, it is. It, it is. But I, I want to ask, and this is to both of you, uh, uh, Joe and, and uh, Ola. The it, this sentiment and this emotion and passion, and the drive that I get from you both, which has rocked off me. I mean, I must confess this: the lands, uh, the parks and gardens thing, it rocked off me. That was when I, I said, whoa. This grabbing is going on, and I started my own, you know, portion of it. Do you get a sense that the state gets the same vibe? Again, I'm using Gen Z terms. Do, do they get the same vibe, Joe? The well, state, the state that must lead for us to follow. Well, first of all, mm. the state gives us, I'll use your term, the vibe, mm. <laughs> that... It is afraid of the 500,000 people who are directly affected by, um, directly benefit mm. from Galanze. Mm. Galanze. Now, what we have to put across very well is that 
if you are scared of 500,000 people, mm. why are you not scared of the millions mm. of us who don't benefit and are worried about our health? The state does not... Listen, I, I'll be honest with you. Mm. I feel that over this issue, mm. the state is compromised. The politicians are compromised. They uh, and and the. Three FM. I'm even wondering whether seven. they are truly tone deaf, mm. or they are pretending to be tone deaf because of how compromised they may be. We all know. Listen. There was a speech by the Asante Hine, which was last year, not mm-hmm. even this year, mm-hmm. in which he said it was on Galance, mm-hmm. and he said something. He said, all of us know who the Galanceers are. Mm-hmm. Why are you asking us what to, what you, why are we having this meeting to, 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 to say what should we do? When we know mm-hmm. what to do. When we know, no, not only do we know what to do. We know the people. We know the people. Exactly, that's what I mean. We know what to do because we know who And, we and the only reason why maybe I can't mention names here is that I, I, I don't have proof. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so I have to be careful that I don't, uh, 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 I, I, I don't get accused of libel or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you see, listen. We've even had mm. the minister in charge mm. accuse certain yes. institutions. Mm. And these institutions are uh, 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 mining in, 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 in forest, forest areas yes. where they shouldn't. Right. And these institutions, nothing has been done. We, 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 uh, and remember, you see, I, I even, I'll be honest with you, even the term galamsey upsets me. We should use illegal mining. No, I don't even like it. What do you want to use? Why does it upset you? Let me tell you why. Mm. The worst corporates have licenses. It is the methods of mining Mm. that are killing us. They're using illegal methods. They're using the absolutely dead cheap methods Mm. to recover gold. The people you see, those pictures you see of uh, of 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 um, of young people and other mining, those people are the victims. Mm. Those who are the ben- beneficiaries mm. are those who are buying machines that they shouldn't. The chamfans. The chamfans should be illegal. Chamfans are sold by the roadside. Mm. We see them. Try going to uh, Oda. Mm. Try going to Kumase. Try going past the Goko. The Sanfans are there. The illegality mm-hmm. is not in that they don't, they don't, they have, it's not about whether they have a license or not. Mm. It's about the methods of mining okay. gold. How they're going about I mean, it. Mm. So when we say we should ban Galance, I ask myself, if it is illegal, what are you, you banning? Ban illegality. You see, right. what we are doing, mm. what we should be doing is not, when we say ban Galamse, it's almost inane. We should be going after the methods of mining mm. that pollute okay. let, our let's, water let's bodies. Bring our, like, our I mean, let's water to be absolutely clear. Right. I've always said that I don't like the term Galamse because right. if you look at the history, Galamse had not nothing to do with heavy duty machinery right. but let's be clear when you say illegal mining it mm-hmm. means that what you are doing is not according to the law That's i have right. a driving license does that mean that because i have a driving license i can drive whilst intoxicated mm-hmm. i don't need to obey the highway code of course not or having drive a drive yes yeah, so or just drive on or, pavement or drive a yeah. so that doesn't killed. mean so so and i think professor frimpon boatin made it absolutely clear that the fact that you have a mining license right. does not mean you're not engaging in illegality right. so the license tells you what to do right. but if you go outside the parameters of your license you are engaged in illegal mining pure and simple so it's not a question of having a license or not having one the reason why eco-conscious citizens and others are asking for a, a, a ban sorry not a ban to pause community mining okay. is that we know that our monitoring regime is either poor or non-existent. non-existent. Now when you have even the few big companies you can't mm. even monitor them. Then you have thousands and thousands of small scale mining. You are not monitoring. Mm. 
I gave you the case of um, Atron Sue. That's right. And when the sta they started work, I contacted the EPA. And the EPA said that even if yeah, the yeah. miners yeah, had a license, a they needed an EPA um, license first right, right. and a digging license because right. before they could start work. Right. So even if they had the license, what they were doing was oh, illegal. I can't live down this but if I can. <laughs> But, I said, I can't live down this image, but it's okay. But you know what? The, um, has the EPA done anything about it? Have they even been there to uh, test the water? They have done... They like the, the first statement I saw from the EPA after I put out, um, you know, the EPA under the UN, the Minamata Convention, mm -hmm. had gotten some eight point something million dollars in 2020 right. to fight uh, those who are using... Uh, mercury in mm. our waters mm -hmm. in 2020. Yeah. So when I started all this conversation, I pulled that up and I said, look, in 2020 they got this. But since we started this this whole fight, stop illegal mining, Galamse, they have not said anything. It was only two days ago that the EPA spoke. Two days ago. You know, two days ago. I kept on saying, if you know, I mean, you know, you know better than me that media against Galam State started in 2016. That's right. We started around 2017. Mm. And I kept on saying that Ghanaians are not angry enough. And you put it excellently well. When the poisoned waters are coming, it doesn't say, oh, you are NPP, so mm. I'm not coming towards mm. you. You are, you know, it's so pathetic. And uh, I can't find the right words that we are just so interested in votes for the mm. sake of votes that we don't care about poisoning. Uh, I'll, I'll you, yeah. are, you are a lawyer. The MCs and DCs are head of the District Security Council and Municipal Security Councils. There's also atop there a regional minister who is in charge of the RECSEC. We know the regions that have been affected. We know the districts that have been affected. Nobody has faced any consequence either as DC or MC or regional minister for whatever is happening. It's business as usual. They are wrapping up their tenure very soon. They will get their ex pressure. They will go home. They will still be honorable. And hooray. Are we really serious? Of course we are not serious. I keep on saying that it's because the firefighters and the arsonists in many cases are one and the same. Mm -hmm. So there's, in my view, been no serious fight against illegal mining. We've been fighting shadows once or twice. You get some people load down the chain, you know, throw the book at them. But I, my position is that everybody involved in illegality should be dealt with, whether you are low down the chain or... Mm -hmm. But then the, the, the sentence should be higher for those who should know better. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I'm sure you watched the uh, Poison for Gold. I'm That's sure right. you've watched That's Destruction. Right. Mm. So what I'm saying is that the situation is bad. I mean, illegality is illegality. Everybody involved, in my view, mm. should be held accountable. But we should reserve the full rigors of the law mm. for those who are in a position to, um, well, they should know better. And where you have a situation where, um, I would say it, mm. where, for example, you had the directors of Akonta Mining um, who are alleged to have... Uh, destroy parts of the Tano Nimiri Forest mm. Reserve. Mm. And we have our president becoming a judge and saying that they, have, they are not in this, mm. at this present time or whatever involved. Then we have a real problem. And again, part of the problem is that it seems that the persons financing our political parties, right. not just the NPP, mm. are engaged in illegal mining. That's mm. why it's been so difficult. Because for me, there's no fights going on. We know who they are. Mm. If we want to arrest them right now, we can do that. Right. The president can pick up his phone right now mm. and order the arrest of those who are bringing in the um, Chamfans and, and have just... them arrested. But these conversations, conversations, conversation, it's as if Ghanaians are taking for, I don't mm. want to use the word on live TV, but we're taking for fools. And we keep on having conversations while we are being poisoned. Mm. Or oh, don't worry, let me poison you a little later. When the elections are over, we'll deal with it. And anybody who goes and votes for those such people, well, I can't stop you. Joe, can, can, we, can, can, sorry. can I give you a proverb? Go and ahead. Go ahead sir. Uh, uh, I'm a fancy. So what I'll what's the What can you do mm. when you just see him? Oh. And to wear your mope. They have, they have scanned our mouth and no, seen that they are no tea. We have no tea. So we can't bite. We can't bite. So they will do what they want so to do. So they will do what they want to do. And what we all should be scared of is this. You think the drug barons are bad, and you hear it and you think of it as so far removed in mm. South America. The, what the Galamsee barons will do to us is worse. 
because there are huge sums of money Involved. at stake. Right. So there are national security concerns. Yeah. We must nip it in the bud now. So yes. let me quickly come to something you said. For example. You know, you said something about they are more interested in the 500,000 or so people. And you see, let me look at the figures properly. I was talking to the Peasant Farmers um, Association. Association. Right. About 2 million. 2 million peasant farmers are at the risk of losing their livelihood. Mm -hmm. We haven't talked about the fishermen. So why is it that the we only think... Exporters. Export. You know, recently, yam and mm -hmm. plantain were found to contain mercury. I'm sure yes. you're aware of it. Right. So, and even our cocoa will soon be rejected. Mm -hmm. So when you look at always just focusing on the so-called... Um, uh, 500,000 or whatever figure we, we, we bandy around who will lose their job but it's an and excuse. not looking at the bigger picture. It's an excuse mm. because, and that's why I, I said something to you. I said to you that they are not tone deaf, they are giving us excuses because of the amounts of money they are getting mm. from the Galanciers. We have no proof, but. How can anybody live in this country? And we've had this fight against Galancy for how many years? And still say we don't know what to do and we haven't done anything about it. We, we, we haven't spoken enough about the chiefs and traditional authority. What level of responsibility should we place at their doorstep in, in all of this fight? Look at Gemma, for instance. Mm. Gemma. Mm -hmm. They made it a no-go area for illegal mining. You have people like... Um, Father J. J. Blay, right. and they have stood up. He's an he's an eco-conscious citizen. Mm. They have been very clear. We do not want any mining in our area. Right. And he has said that they are able to do that because the chief is very much against illegal mm. mining. And we have to say this for the, to the credit of the chief. And I think we should do a fundraiser for him. Mm. He's very ill. He's had mm. a stroke. Oh, sorry. And the sorry. illegal miners have offered him a lot of money. And he said, take your blood money. I don't want it. Mm. Even if I'm to die tomorrow, Nine I want to go down as seven. having protected my community. And he's right. doing just that. So I think we should have a fundraiser for him so he can get the best medical treatment. Right. Because he is somebody so who has stood... compromised. Yes. Mm. He has stood firm. And today, Gemma is free of illegal mining. Mm -hmm. And there are other areas, I'm sure you know that better than myself. So yes, once the chiefs stand firm and the community stands firm, there's no way the mm. illegal miners can go there. When you talk about people being compromised, right. and I talk about this, I'm, I, I had um, Three FM, an interesting discussion with one of the MCs. Mm -hmm. And this was before, no, just after he had taken office. If I was a DC, not an MC, a DC, and I've taken office, and this office is somewhere in the uh, Brown area. Mm. And he says, when I took place, mm. I realized that the chief was on the take. <laughs> the district security everybody was on it. Everybody was on, was the, on the payroll. Everybody was all. on the payroll. <laughs> and he actually said to me that. Joe, he calls me uh, Mr. J. Mm. Mr. J, Charlie, they brought 200,000 my first week. And they said they'll give me 200,000 a week. Oh, yes. 200,000 a week. So that he, he turns a blind eye. He said, this is he it doesn't look. He doesn't look. Doesn't watch. He doesn't and, act. And, and so I asked him, wow. he says, the first weeks and I was being difficult the chief called me and spoke to me other elements mm. in the security zone spoke to me Three because FM. everybody Nine, two, is two, on the take but that is not good then it is not about if, being if, good if, it is if about the watchman would 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 well that's why i kept on saying the oh, firefighters yes, and the arsonists are one and, 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 and i kept one. on saying that there'd be no fight against illegal mind do you really think do you really think mm. that if we're serious about fighting illegal mind we we're the ones who were saying we're going to send troops to Burkina yes, when there was yeah, the coup yeah we were we we're able to send troops, but we cannot even you know so the truth is that there's no fight going on because as you have rightly said in too many areas there's complicity and that's Everywhere. why i say that the, the areas where the chiefs have stood firm like in Gemma, right. in um doma hinkro and other right. places we need to praise those people they have stood firm they have stood firm mm. because once the chiefs 
the um, executive, I mean, the DCE, the police stand firm, mm. where are the illegal miners going to park? And, and because and, of the complicity. Yes. So you but, want but to see has been distooling a, a few of his chiefs, one or two of them, yes, he's, and he's, actually he's, telling them that, look, he, he, those of listen, you who are I'm coming uh, for you. Let me tell you what has happened. Mm. We've destroyed a lot of our water bodies. They are not going to be recovered in the next. I may not even live to see them recovered. Wow. Yes. What we are trying to do is to protect the few that are, that are relatively, relatively unpolluted. Mm. That is the fight we are involved in now. The destruction has taken place. And you see, I, 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 I'm glad now as people are coming to understand that destruction is not just about no, uh, uh, muddy water versus no. clear water. No. Right. The destruction is about the leaching of chemicals into the uh, 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 no into the 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 the, 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 the water uh, uh, value chain mm -hmm. into the food chain that will kill us slowly by cancer and it will give us best deformities mm -hmm. and guess what I may sit here somebody put up uh, uh, a banner mm -hmm. and I I called it the banner of the day. Mm -hmm and mentioned a very popular restaurant. Mm -hmm. Right. On Expensive. Cantum, Expensive. Around Cantonments or says, airport. Do you think they cook with... What sort of water? With uh, 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 only, Bella. Only, only water. <laughs> and says, we all, they use Galancy water. And so you can't... And, and, and I thought it just captured in a very... in a very light-hearted way mm. captured the issue it means that this morning if you used water from the tap for your tea it's possible forget that you, your tea that you oh, so your, your tea at least you boiled it mm. didn't you the bath water didn't you bath yeah you did and then the uh, skin and your, your skin yes. didn't go through your pores but you know it's a more, it's, it's, it's worse than that. What I don't understand. You know when I kept on saying that mm. Ghanaians are not angry now. Mm. Ghanaians are not Look at, for example, Atiwa Forest. Mm. The government wanted to ban, sorry, as a ban, wanted mm. to mine bauxite there. Right. And you know that is the source of uh, three rivers taking their source in Atiwa right. Forest right. Reserve. It's the source of water to over five million people. Mm. Um, Arucha Ghana led the fight did all they could and right. uh, the government would not listen because they were thinking of what they are going to I do. I remember that with Daryl. Yes. I, I, yes. I, I, I mean, Daryl has been fight. excellent in the fight. Mm. So we had to take the uh, government to court. And the case, as I speak, is still in court. But you see, when it was happening, we didn't have enough people supporting right. Giardek, I remember that. Yeah. We didn't have enough people supporting us. When the LI 2462 was passed, mm. which allows for mining forest reserves, including globally significant biodiversity mm. areas, we had a picket around Minerals Commission right. Parliament how many people joined us? And I kept on saying, Ghanaians are not angry enough. We don't how see the, angry, the linkages. How angry no, no, can no. people get? Let me tell you how angry we are. Now, we're not then. Yes. Even now, we are not angry enough. But how angry can we get? I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Corporate Ghana. Mm -hmm. Right? The few factories left. Right. 3FM, 92.7. You may import mm -hmm. certain mixtures from outside. Mm. But the one thing you always do, and that accounts for, for example, the differences in taste in our beverages from country to country, mm. is what? Water. What are they doing about it? <laughs> so, so, I will ask you mm. that the guys who are producing all these bottled waters, they're directly affected. Mm. Where is their stand? Where is their where 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 is their the their association in this? Because you know we are driving to the point where we'll soon get to the point where we have to ask FDA to have now new labels and new certification right now. Mm. Where to certify that your water is free of mercury, mercury, mercury cyanide, etc. Sure. Uh, lead. Uh, uh, all these. Mm. That that is the, the is the is the is the base we can have to start this process. So where's corporate Ghana? So so that we so that if you if you don't meet the prerequisites, you 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 you're not on the market. Where is corporate Ghana? Now let me tell you something and and, and give you a different perspective from the the financial sector. It's easy for us to think of this in terms of. Mm. Water is polluted, mm -hmm. water bodies are polluted. Mm. Think about it. 
cocoa collapses. Cocoa is the mainstay of our currency. Mm. Our aquaculture and agri uh, exports, mm. they collapse. More pressure on the city. Mm. Mm? People don't come to see brown waterfalls. <laughs> So the tourist industry is going, and anyway, which tourist wants to come to a country which when is the where the water, and they cannot, they cannot escape the water. In fact, the water the, the, the maybe la, the last panafest we had, mm -hmm. the minister and all the dignitaries were there with the white people. Went to a river in the central region. We were standing by the river. It was so brown. I remember my first take at panafest in the late nineties. It was so. I remember that yeah. river. And when um, we went there, the minister was there. He was feeling so embarrassed. Was he? And what's he doing about it? Well, he could not. He could I'm not. Waiting. He was so embarrassed. The I'm white waiting. people were just watching. I mean, everybody I'm waiting was just... to see what happens to our well vaunted year of return mm. as our uh, 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 flagship uh, as our As our waters get pollu more and more polluted. BFF. So you see, Galamse is going to weaken the city. Mm. And already, even as things are, the CD is already in a, a, is in free fall. If we allow Ganansé to continue as it is, and this is not even to talk about increased food export imports, mm. as we refuse to eat our own food because mm. our own food is polluted, right. we refuse to drink our own water mm. because our own water is polluted. We we get to the point where we become. A pariah amongst nations. We have become that already. We have. You know, you speak very powerfully. And, you know, that's why I keep on saying that. Mm. The anger wasn't there. You know, we sort of think that it's only happening far away to certain people. And as you've drawn the picture, it's so close. Mm. And this parading the figure of the miners, as opposed to the health concerns, as opposed to the food mm. security, as opposed to the national security, because they are very, yes. they are very right. wealthy and they are armed, and we have to nip it in the back. And so it's a travesty that we're thinking of conversations. The ship is sinking. Is this a time to have a conversation? The plane is about to crash. That mm. way you go and have a conversation. And let be very clear. Everybody is looking up to organized labor. Today they are in a meeting. They are in a meeting. What, what do you advise they do? You see, I don't really know what we are meeting about because the first meeting they had, you pre demands were presented to government. Mm -hmm. If you don't um, abide by these demands, that strike is taking place. Right. The date has been set as Thursday, 11th. 11th. So I don't know what October. we are meeting for again. The I mean, what the president met the, them, you know, so they have to. Yeah, go but back the president in. could have come, made an announcement, mm. fellow Ghanaians. Fellow I have belatedly seen the seriousness of the situation. <laughs> You know, and I was on another planet. I've come back. Do you to want to write this speech for the president? Or? Well, if you read it. So what <laughs> I'm saying, it. what I'm saying is that I've accepted that mm. we need to declare a state of emergency and go and remove all the illegal miners from our forest reserves. Right. Who mines in forest reserves mm. and our water bodies? We are going to um, get rid of LI two four six two. This perverse piece of legislation mm. passed by parliament, right. by the way, and then we are going to pause small scale mining. Pause it because. Mm. We cannot monitor. So we need to get our act together mm. before we can think of... Uh, but but Aula, the yeah. last time we paused mm -hmm. um, all forms of mining in yes. this country, yes. there was a cabinet directive mm -hmm. in March 2019 yes. that was very specific on what had to be done. Mm -hmm. Professor Fred Paul Barton comes back after 2019 in 2022 or so to tell us that, look... <laughs> All what you thought they were nothing doing, happened. nothing happened. But you see, the Including even the direct... No, but you see, the facts speak for themselves. Away. I mean, mm. nobody needs to tell you anything. We have seen all our rivers. We've seen the color of them. So if, so, we, if, we, if we claim we are going to what, what ban or pause... No, I say, the, you can't the, ban the fear, something that's already illegal. The fear, I mean, the fear is that, force. I mean, small-scale mining, if we say, okay, let's put a hold on everything. Mm -hmm. The last time we tried... No, no, no. The last, still went through. No, no, the last time, let's be absolutely clear, right. that when they first paused it, mm. things began to improve. Right. Let's be clear right. about I, it. I get that. And then, because of political concerns mm. and things, we stopped. But right. we began to see a positive That's change. That's right. I Let's agree be with quite you. Clear about I agree it. with you. So what that. I'm saying is that I'm expecting today for organized labor to come and say that we are going ahead with mm. the strike. And the strike will last as uh, long as the president wants it to last. As mm. soon as he comes and says, fellow Ghanaians, I've seen that I don't want to be um, known as a president who poisoned his people, mm. and therefore I'm going to act on what is going on. Until that announcement is made by the president himself, mm. we will continue with the general strike. If the whole country is paralyzed, because you see, we are being poisoned to death. 
We are being poisoned to death. I don't know what we are meeting about. Mm. The mm. facts are there for everybody who is living on this planet to see. The, the small scale miners, Mr. Jackson, have also said that, look, slow down for us. We will make sure that we stop these illegal miners from operating. How does that sound to you? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not even going to discuss it. It's not worthy of discussion. You see, you cannot pollute our rivers to this level, then come back and say you're going to self-police. The time for self-policing is gone. It's long gone. We are almost getting to the point of no return. We are almost at the point of no return. Listen, today I really had some places to go to, but I wanted to come here. You know why? No. Because I want to appeal to people my age. I want to appeal to people in the financial sector. Mm. I want to appeal to corporate Ghana. Mm. I want to appeal to you know, the unions. Mm. This thing is killing you. This thing is going to destroy Ghana as we know it. Mm. This is an existential threat. Don't allow the few greedy people who are making money mm. to take us for a ride. Don't. Don't. It, 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 it's, it's, we cannot stop. You see, you know what I'm afraid of now? No. That there'll be the usual news cycle. And tomorrow, for better or for worse, there'll be a new issue for you to attend to. Mm. And this issue will die the way it died. Remember when we had the, the, the journalists mm. And, mm. and the media right. houses? Right, the coalition, or, 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 or media coalition against No, but them. Ken Ashiba is still doing a good no, job. No, we, yes. we, we all are. You I, all like all I, the and I, I, need, yeah. I need to tell you this. Mm -hmm. I, I must be very, and I've been very angry at government because we were running, rightly as you stated, we're running our coalition on our own, and we're doing very well headlines front pages and everybody everybody was from graphic to the last exactly. we're all doing it and then government came and said oh we want to be part of it so <laughs> we want they to want to neutralize it operation That's what they vanguard so we're bringing four hundred thousand, you know uh, people and we'll buy drone we'll do this we'll do that and then we said oh let's partner together and then they sent the people so we were following them to go and do the raid and all of that and then before we could realize it the people who were sent to go and fight the thing <laughs> now had become. And then when you go, they won't, they won't allow you to stick your cameras in there. They won't allow your reporters in there. And that's how the media withdrew at some point. Yes, but that's Shouldn't why I'm appealing to. So, so, so I, get, I get you. In the last three weeks, for example, I have been on Gallums every single day. In fact, the media day. has done an excellent job. I mean, nobody can since, deny since that we the started, media... Since we started coming back, and I can assure you mm -hmm. that, look, we will not be swayed by some red herring or something, mm -hmm. because this, it will kill all of us. An existential threat. And I think that we need to commend the media. You have been excellent in, you know, everywhere you turn. You cannot be in Ghana, whether it's the news, whether mm -hmm. it's whatever, and not hear yeah. about... Even the international the media, media yes. is on this case. Yes. I think but even when... Not yes. allow it to... Die. So you cannot allow it to die there because you have, have to continue mm. like a sports record. Go on and right. or until yeah. fellow Ghanaians comes and makes an announcement. Mm. And not just makes the announcement, it's actually being um, implemented. Right. Yes, you have to keep I, on. I, I like, so I, I want to ask both of you, I'm sure you have grandchildren. The only picture of a river or a water body that your grandchildren know now as we speak, not what they see on the on the TV or what they have in their books, is the brown thing. If you take them to the countryside, apart from the volta, because yes. the volta is yeah, yeah. But if you take them to the countryside, you're going but to. But even the volta, be careful. The white yeah. volta and the black. The yeah. black volta, yeah. yes, yes. Black I am hundred percent yeah. away. So that, that is the only impression they have. And for all these uh, uh, eco-conscious citizens that you're trying to raise from the schools, I'm sure that sometimes it hits you that. This is brown water, but I'm telling the children about trees of green and you know fresh lake and all of that. How does that how does that hit you? I want to understand. You know, I did say that 
if our ancestors or forefathers had been as wicked and selfish as we are, mm. wouldn't have even come to meet what we met. But they protected it. For example, talking about Atiwa Forest Reserve, right. you, know, you think that past government didn't know that there was bauxite there. Maybe. Why did they choose not to go there? Mm. So we have to just continue raising awareness, you know, and it's everywhere. Mm. Whether it's our parks and gardens being built upon, whether it's our wetlands, mm. the, mm. um, the um, Ramsar sites right. being built on, you know, everywhere you look, there's environmental disaster going on. But we need to keep on and on and on. And until Ghanaians are angry enough mm. that we realize that we can't afford to be partisan, it doesn't matter. Our political party now has to be Ghana. Mm. And we have to put Ghana first because we are being poisoned. Mm. When you're having your bath, I go to use um, bottled water from outside to bath. You are cooking. Mm. You know, we don't seem to understand the uh, mm. seriousness of the situation. And those who are making 200000 a week, mm. they can afford to bath and brush right, their teeth right. and everything with even bottled they. water. Even they. Even they. But we can't. And I have a very good friend who has kidney disease. Mm. He's on dialysis. You know, and it's very, very painful. Mm. And even, um, you know how expensive it is. Right. It is. First of all, you don't have the money, but even if you have the money, you have to go through the process. Right. So anybody who four so, hours of your life and every, three days a week, yes. and so for me, it's sheer wickedness. It's sheer wickedness for people who understand what is going on. Mm. Those in authority are not, uh, you know, they know what's going they're on. They're not so stupid. Put, they're not stupid. Three Thank you very much. To put um, um, votes first and to supervise the poisoning of people. Mm. You've talked about it when you came when we had the Erastos. Sorry, Dan, was a brilliant job. Poison for gold. The pathologist was there, and he said that, you know, when he started to see the increase in maternal death, mm. he analyzed the placenta yes. full of mercury, and mm. he has made his findings known. So we know what is going on. It's not as if we don't know. We know. And yes, we don't care, you know. And what you're more interested in is building a cathedral. I mean, for me, the kind of wickedness going on, I keep on saying God is not mocked. But I'm relying on the good people of Ghana to become angry enough to mm. say that even if I'm getting 200,000 cities a week, mm. that is not going to we save me. It's blood money. It's points. blood And that's why people are advocating that gold from Ghana should be rejected until we put our act together. Because it is blood money. That's like right. we had the blood uh, mm. diamonds. Right. We should do the same thing with gold. Uh, Mr. Jackson, we, we have done everything. We have demonstrated. Speeches have been made. Um, hashtags have been created. Meetings have been held. Uh, interviews have been done. But the president is not budging. What, what again can we do to get the president to listen and act? You know, what again can we do? No, we, we haven't done everything. What is left? We keep talking. Mm. We keep protesting. You see, it is when Nanado only had a nationwide demonstration to stop a whole government from implementing a tax handle law. Postponed till three years after for consultation it, 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 listen, before it was done. It was not a matter the, of life the, and the, death. The size of the problem, mm. the size of the complicity, the chain of people who are uh, complicit mm. is so wide, so broad. Mm. And the amount of money we are talking about, it will not be one demonstration. It will not be uh, a single tweet or a single sustained. hashtag. Mm. It has to be sustained. Uh, uh, I, I've been saying to everybody I know, the Catholics are going to have a prayer walk. Mm. What is your pastor saying this Sunday? Send a text message to your pastor mm. and ask him to speak about Galamze. Send a message to your imam. Mm. Ask him to speak about Galamze. When you go for your, um, your uh, 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 yeah. family meeting, mm -hmm. speak about Galamze. When you have that old boys group, mm -hmm. speak about Galamze. Listen, we, we got to make this so loud that the politicians will be afraid. But, be honest with but, you. but somebody has to lead us. No, you don't. Some, you somebody, see, somebody if, if the president today as Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, as head of the National Security Council, says that, look, go into the communities. All communities that have tasted illegal mining and have DCs there, mm -hmm. all those DCs, I sack you. <laughs> Take them, put them before the courts. All the MMDCs, I put you there. Regional ministers who have 70, 40%, 60% of your place, you know, done 
I take you yeah. off, I put you before. Can't he do that? Can't he, you, you can't know, he show you, one you, strike? You know, so that my response is tell me. Quack, quack, quack. You know what I'm saying? Quack, quack, quack. If he quacks like a dog, he's a dead duck. <sighs> you see, Three F- for some of us, this protest is not about the next three months. This protest is about whoever is going to take power on the 7th and that's of why January. We all political parties should sign up to Yes. Right. Right. Who's ever going to take power on the 7th of January? Let's know what's in your head. Yes. And, 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 and tell you that we are watching you. This, what you see from organized labor today is, I, I, I like what we used to say when we were kids, comedies. Mm. It's just the beginning. We are being poisoned to death. We, our children are going to be, be born deformed. Our economy will collapse. Mm. This, listen, today is what? Today is uh, 7th. Exactly. October. Today is the 7th of what? October. October. 7th of November. Mm. 7th of December. 7th of January. January. It's all over. Yeah. And that is why. Don't focus on the current chief executive. Okay. He's although, on his way although out. in yes, he's on his way out. But mm. although before he goes, he can okay. quote unquote redeem himself. But I take your point that he can do something before he goes. It's not impossible. But it's but, up to him. No, it's up to him. But what I'm saying is that we have to insist that every person standing for political office or must commit. Or, yes, to, to and it's very this. very simple. Mm. So it doesn't matter whether uh, which, whoever comes to power. This mm. must be the plan, mm. and we have to get them to put Ghana above everything. I mean, look at what we are all saying. We are being poisoned to death. Okay, right now I've got a million dollars in my bank account, and mm. I'm I've got cancer. Of what benefit is it? So can't we think beyond? Um, I, I don't even know how to put it. Can't we be a bit? of a long-term thinking. Mm. What's the point of this blood money when we are going to die of cancer, when our children are going to be born deformed? Mm. Well, we need to stop it yesterday. Yes. That is what we need to but, do. And but, we need but, to get every single political mm. party to subscribe but, to but, the but, demands. But I will stopping it. I'll use the Snit Hotels as an example. You remember when organized labor exactly. said that don't touch our Snit Hotels? Immediately they said, okay, we're not well, doing it No, but longer. because organized labor then said, look, we are going, because when they eventually said it, Board chairman for SNIT, Madam Elizabeth Rony said, oh, well, we're doing yeah, nothing yeah. wrong. Um, we had other people say, ah, well, why, what are you crying about? Then when organized labor said, no, we will go on strike, we will come Then to... they immediately... St- and and that's nobody what has spoken about it. This meeting that organized labor is going about... You see, I'm getting a little... Um, maybe I'm a... I'm a, I'm a I do things very simply. Right. So I don't understand why we need so many meetings. Mm. We've already met. If you don't meet our demands, we'll call a nationwide strike, strike. on 11th uh, October. <laughs> October. So so long as uh, fellow Ghanaians have not come to say that this mm. is what we're going to do, mm. we are going ahead with the strike. So I don't understand why we need meetings. L- listen, all, meetings. all I see is that mm. we give a deadline. Mm-hmm. Mm? It was the end of the month. We'll go on strike if you haven't done anything. Right. Then the end of the month came. We said 11th. Then we said 11th. I, when they said 11th, mm. I'll be honest with you, I was... The alarm bell. It's actually the 10th. There's the 10th. Yeah. I was sorry, the 10th is the 11th. Yes. Sorry. Mm. I was extremely worried. Mm. So, ah, another deadline again. You know what scares me? No. Another deadline. No, you see, After right today's now, meeting... But shall I tell you something? If enough of the media... Oh. You see, organized labor does not want to lose credibility. Mm. Now there are rumors, unsubstantiated rumors, that there are things are going on partisan lines. So if organized labor does not say that, yes, mm. the nationwide strike right. is taking place on 11th October, I'm afraid they'll lose all credibility. credibility. Because whether they've been influenced or not, mm. Ghanaians always think certain things. It may not be true, but that doesn't stop them from thinking. It. So I'm appealing to organized labor. You've asked what you rightly said. It was 30th September. Mm. So we should have known what we do come 30th September. Because it was quite clear that we're not going to right. do anything. Let, let's take a quick break. When we return from this break, my guest will still be here. Stay with us. We'll be right back. This October, come and encounter Jesus in a way you've never experienced before. 
The Maker's House Chapel International presents Experience Conference 2024 under the theme, Jesus. From 6th to 13th October, join us for a week of divine connection and spiritual renewal. Be transformed by powerful ministrations from anointed men of God, Pastor Jonathan Miller, Reverend Eastwood Anaba, Dr. Dion Bias, and your host, Dr. Michael Brady Yamichek. The venue is the Destiny Arena of the Maker's House Chapel International, Ultra Atomic Addison School of Nuclear and Allied Sciences. Weekday services start 6.30 p.m. and weekends 8 a.m. Experience Conference 2024. Don't just hear about it, be a part of it. Experience Jesus. The luckiest star, 712 Ash. Luck is everywhere. For everyone, yeah. Here's to the friends who dialed star 712 hash and found no regrets. To the investors who struck gold. To the health workers who diagnosed luck with precision. To the tough guy who couldn't hold back his tears. To the passionate fan who couldn't contain his joy. To the seamstress who turned her hard-earned stitches into a bundle of happiness. And now, here's to you. Your next big win is right here. Dial is star 712 hash. Now join in the luckiest winning celebration. Every 1st July 2024. Over dial is star 712 hash. Now I can swear to take it through as a group, individual, and now as a, even as a community. Now we need to get cashier. Prices are cashier in the community draw. or go for the grand draw on the 30th of November 2024. Unlock your luck with star 712 hash. Now join in the winning streak now. The luckiest star, 712 Ash. Luck is everywhere, for everyone, yeah. The luckiest. The most comprehensive election coverage. Top-notch presenters and well-versed analysts. Dedicated reporters and correspondents in every nook and cranny across the country. All the action, every incident reported. All the big stories covered. All facts questioned. Every figure verified. Every vote monitored and accounted for. The numbers tallied, analyzed and interpreted. We have invested time and energy in order to bring you a comprehensive elections coverage. The whole world will be watching us on TV, online and radio. Election Command Center. Facts. Analysis. Results.
Right here on Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. The Joe Jackson had to leave because he has a very urgent meeting, equally important. The matters we're discussing this morning. Aula Sewa is still here with me. She is the chief servant, eco conscious uh, citizens. They've been very, very passionate about all this Galamse conversation. I'll play with them. Strike actions, industrial actions. Well, I will plead with organized labor that instead of embarking upon strike that we don't know when it's going to end, the best way is to keep engaging um, the authorities for us to come to a meaningful progressive and productive uh, uh, I mean, solution to, to, to this particular uh, problem. You know what I mean? So, so I'll play with them. Strike actions, industrial actions will only lead to, for example, a reduction in productivity. That will also affect our revenue envelopes and all that. Is that what we want? We are a country that is seeking to raise revenues, to build our roads, to build other infrastructural projects. That, that should be the focus, okay? Nobody should think that the fight against Galamse uh, or illegal mining uh, is something uh, that is easy. It's, it's complex, and, and we all know what is happening. But it can be dealt with effectively, and we can win it when all of us see the need of protecting our lands and our water bodies. My plea to organized labor is that their ultimatum, for me, is not the best. If you enter into any position with a certain mindset, okay, you are visited on your position, then it becomes uh, uh, difficult for uh, us to labor. slow down. Hola. As your member of parliament for Kwadaso, says organized labor should slow down. It will affect productivity. We don't want that. Uh, what do you say? I'm lost for words. I'm not sure whether he's living in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he's living somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I can't understand what he's saying. We've been having conversations upon conversations. I was at one with stakeholders, I believe, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the past seven years, we've been having conversations and... Uh, all sorts of things. We've reached the point where every sensible Ghanaian should know that we face an existential threat. Mm. The time for talking is gone. On 11 September, there was a press conference mm. and uh, organized labor made it clear that they were giving the government up to 30th September mm. to meet the demands. There was also a press conference by organized by media against Galamse. Mm. I was there, Catholic Bishops Conference was there, Christian right. Council, and uh, so many other CSOs. Before then, the GMA mm -hmm. had also come up with uh, um, a statement, so had UTAC. Mm -hmm. And the time for talking is gone. Mm. I'm not sure if the Honorable Member for Parliament is not aware that as we speak, people mm. are dying of kidney disease, cancers, there are the stillbirths, maternal deaths, mm -hmm. um, Deformed, uh, deformed babies. I'm not sure if he's not aware that our water source is being poisoned mm -hmm. and that Ghana Water has clearly stated that they cannot remove or they do not remove the mercury and other right. poison metals from the water, from. other metals from the water. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he's not aware mm -hmm. that um, the loss in revenue has already come. Very soon our cocoa will be rejected as being full of mercury. Mm -hmm. Recently, yams and uh, plantain were found with mercury. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he's not aware that over 2 million peasant farmers stand the risk of losing their livelihood if the situation continues. So for anybody to suggest that when the plane is crashing, we should be engaging in more and more conversation, then you've lost the plot. Mm -hmm. What we need is action. We're even surprised that organized labor gave up to the 11th of... Uh, October. Mm -hmm. But right now, the only person who can stop the strikes from taking place is the president. Right. All he needs to do is to go on air and assure Ghanaians that he is going to implement the demands. And they are not unreasonable demands, yep. which Ghanaian does not think is a good idea to stop what is going on. Mm -hmm. Go to the forest reserves and uh, remove illegal miners and equipment from there. Mm -hmm. Do away with LI2462, which allows for mining in forest reserves, including mm -hmm. globally significant biodiversity.
biodiversity areas. Mm -hmm. Poor small-scale mining. We're not picking on small-scale mining. We're being realistic. We cannot monitor them. Our monitoring regime is clearly non-existent or not able to do the job it is tasked to do. Mm -hmm. When it comes to big companies, there are few of them, and maybe you can regulate them better. We are unable to do that with small-scale mining. Mm -hmm. And then seriously look at Professor Frimpong Boateng's report. And I think that if the government wants to preempt the strikes or wants to um, save Ghanaians from certain death, it mm -hmm. would make an announcement today. If it's not willing to do that, then organized labor doesn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. If they don't go on with the planned strike, they'll lose credibility. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians will begin to wonder whether or not they've been influenced. Mm -hmm. So I'm appealing to all those who put Ghana first, Ghana before party, to understand that we face an existential threat. The water that we are drinking right now, we don't even know if it has mercury, mercury in lead it. or cyanide. We don't know. And we are drinking it. Not all of us can afford to um, buy water from outside, brush our teeth with it, cook with it, bath with it, mm. and what have you. So let's be serious. Mm. Let's be serious for a change and put Ghana first. Thank you. I will say we're grateful for your time and spending your morning with us. We're happy. Thank it's you a very so much. important matter. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you so much indeed. Grateful.